No, I think we're still in the early innings for NVIDIA. NVIDIA clearly is capturing the bulk of the value capture in the sector and industry. You know, we are very excited about NVIDIA. I think you'll see NVIDIA at $150 between now and the end of the year uh, at some point. The hyperscalers, you know, Meta, Google, uh, Microsoft and Amazon have each independently said they intend to spend 50 to $100 billion uh, on GPU compute. The primary beneficiary of that is going to be NVIDIA. OpenAI just raised $6 billion. A significant portion of that spend will go to GPU chips. NVIDIA is really in a class of its own. It doesn't have a close competitor, not AMD, certainly not Intel. NVIDIA, to be the first company to hit $4 T-Market Cap Lumita CEO as the AI race heats up, Rama Lualia, Lumita Wealth Management CEO, joins Catalysts to discuss how the competition may weigh on NVIDIA NVDA. I think we're still in the early innings for NVIDIA. NVIDIA clearly is capturing the bulk of the value capture in the sector and industry, our Lualia tells Yahoo Finance. Ram, do you think it's going to be the first end to reach $4 trillion? Yes, there's no question about it. You know, we made a call... Uh, earlier this year that NVIDIA would be the most valuable company in the world. It achieved that milestone yesterday. Uh, and the demand for GPU chips is is strong. Uh, and you know, seeing enterprises start to get some ROI on it from the early adopters, Meta seen ROI on their CapEx spend. Uh, so you know, we think NVIDIA's got plenty of room to grow from here. He expects NVIDIA stock to hit $150 by the end of 2024 especially as hyperscalers intend to spend between $5,100 billion on GPU compute. Turning to the week's biggest stories, NVIDIA shares rose to a new all-time high this week. Strong earnings from Taiwan Semi helped the AI darling reach a new high. Following that, Bank of America boosted its price target on NVIDIA to 190 bucks a share, calling it a, quote, generational opportunity and says its growth trajectory rivals that of Apple. Bank of America hikes NVIDIA price target, says shares can rally almost 40% NVIDIA could be positioned for even more growth ahead, according to Bank of America. How they would react to these sorts of restrictions, uh, given we've already seen, for instance, NVIDIA being restricted, but then managing to change or tweak its most advanced technology to still allow shipments to go into China of less sophisticated chips as well. But certainly, uh, if the US is going to move forward with these sorts of caps, it will also it could be difficult to enforce, and it's certainly as well going to be a big test of US diplomatic relationships. NVIDIA still king. But this big daddy crushes all other MAG7 stocks over the last 12 months. The gains of all the magnificent 7 stocks except NVIDIA and VDA have paled in comparison to GoDaddy GDDY. Well, now, AI chip demand certainly going to be a key focus throughout these earnings. How long can this momentum continue? That's the big question here. Investors showing some optimism on that front following recent comments from NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. Huang saying that NVIDIA's latest Blackwell chip is, in his words, in full production with insane demand. Morgan Stanley reiterating that in a note saying Blackwell orders are booked out, in their words, 12 months or so with indication that business remains robust with very high demand there. Wall Street estimating earnings of 73 cents a share for NVIDIA with $33 billion in revenue. Net income is expected to come in at $18 billion. Now, data center demand also going to be a key focus here when you consider what we have seen from NVIDIA as well as AMD. We're talking about triple digit growth there. NVIDIA dominates market. Bofa raises EPS projections and price target amid strong free cash flow from $2.81. Bofa raised its EPS projection for NVIDIA's fiscal year 2025 to $2.87 from $3.90. It raised its projection for 2026 to $4.47. Also, its 2027 projection that is expected to jump from $5.67 from $4.72. So I think everybody just wants to see how that uh, the chip, the rollout of that starts hitting the markets. And is it everything that the CEO says it is? When you look at uh, the growth numbers here, what do you think uh, we need to maintain and where does the surprise come from? Is it just from big hyperscalers that have already bought? Maybe they'll have to buy more or the new customers. NVIDIA will dominate big tech's earnings season again, the world's largest tech companies should at least be getting used to that by now. 
More than a year into the so-called AI revolution, the most eye-popping changes have come to their cash flow statement. I think those are clouds that we always see far out in the horizon, right, in terms of what could potentially happen on a geopolitical side, chip restrictions. I mean, this is our number one intellectual capital for the United States, right, is technology and AI. Tyler, let me uh, actually tell you a story first. Um, so, sure. you know, the first commercial Internet service started in the U.S. in 1989. Um, Amazon uh, started in 94, Google in 98, and Meta in 2004. The point here is that, you know, you don't just have one or two year technology cycles when you are investing in these uh, real big changes uh, to the technological infrastructure. And we think generative AI is one of those really big. Analyst Vivek Arya reiterated his buy rating on the chip giant and raised his price target by $25 to $190. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., the world's largest contract chip maker, raised its expectation for annual revenue growth and said sales from AI chips would account for mid-teen percentage of its full-year revenue. That reflects around 38.8% upside from Thursday's close. That would add to the monstrous rally it has already seen this year, with shares surging more than 176% in 2024. NVIDIA wins big analyst boost with Microsoft. Google earnings ahead is NVIDIA a buy now? NVIDIA stock has an ideal EPS rating of 99, while the stock holds a composite rating of 99 as well. The stock is on the model portfolios, IBD leaderboard, IBD swing trader and the growth list, IBD 50. Funds have been wary of buying the stock lately. The accumulation distribution rating, which measures fund purchases in the 13 most recent weeks, is just D on an A to E scale. We would like to achieve superhuman productivity, NVIDIA CEO says, as Lenovo brings smarter AI to enterprises moving to accelerate enterprise AI innovation. NVIDIA founder and CEO Jensen Huang joined Lenovo CEO Anqing Yang on stage Tuesday during the keynote at Lenovo Tech World 2024. Together, they introduced the Lenovo Hybrid AI Advantage with NVIDIA, a full-stack platform for building and deploying AI capabilities across the enterprise that drives speed, innovation and productivity. Microsoft, Amazon.com, Google Parent Alphabet and Meta Platforms. What's going on with NVIDIA stock on Friday? NVIDIA Corp's Blackwell chips will not be available before early 2025, affecting key clients like Amazon.com Inc.'s The Artificial Intelligence Chip Designer's Production Challenge prompted Amazon Web Services to wait for bulk volumes of the chip to be produced for its data centers. Amazon Web Services Chief Matt Garman flagged the delay due to NVIDIA's production respin on Bloomberg Television. NVIDIA Jensen Huang calls Elon Musk's Xi supercomputer a superhuman feat. Elon Musk's AI company Xi has come under heavy praise from NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. In an interview with B2G Pod, Huang said that what Musk and Xi have done is extraordinary. As far as I know, there's only one person in the world who could do that. Elon is singular in his understanding of engineering and construction and large systems and marshalling resources. It's just unbelievable. NVIDIA could be world's most valuable company soon. Unseating Apple shares of NVIDIA closed at their highest ever with which the heavyweight AI chipmaker is on the brink of dethroning Apple as the world's most valuable company. This comes as investors are betting on NVIDIA's current and next-generation AI processes, owing to which the Jensen Huang-led company's stock climbed 2.4% to reach $138.07. NVIDIA Corporation hits fresh high, is there still room to run? Have you been paying attention to shares of NVIDIA NVDA? Shares have been on the move with the stock up 16.2% over the past month. The stock hit a new 52-week high of $140.89 in the previous session. NVIDIA has gained 176.5% since the start of the year, compared to the 26.5% move for the Zacks computer and technology sector and the 124.7% return for turn for the Zacks semiconductor general industry. Jim Cramer on NVIDIA Corporation NVDA, it does put a smile on my face on a recent episode of Mad Money. Jim Cramer took a moment to celebrate the two-year anniversary of the current bull market. He mentioned that this particular bull market has been quiet and gentle, which he attributes to the unusual circumstances surrounding its rise. Tatacom to launch NVIDIA AI Cloud Trials soon, works on enterprise deals MD Tata Communications, has started discussions with enterprise customers to secure deals for its AI Cloud in partnership with chip giant NVIDIA and plans to kick off trials soon. We are working hard to launch the AI Cloud and expect to be ready for trials towards the end of the year. We're excited about how it's... NVIDIA NVDA is considered a good investment by brokers, is that true? 
Let's take a look at what these Wall Street heavyweights have to say about NVIDIA NVDA before we discuss the reliability of brokerage recommendations and how to use them to your advantage. NVIDIA stock hits another record high as AI chip excitement returns NVIDIA shares set yet another record high Thursday as concerns earlier this week about a softening in the semiconductor market was eased by TSNC's earnings report. The Taiwanese supplier of chips to NVIDIA, Apple, Billionaire investor is licking his wounds after selling NVIDIA-famed hedge fund manager and Duquesne family office founder Stanley Druckenmiller admits he isn't Berkshire Hathaway's oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. The billionaire investor, who hasn't lost in a single quarter throughout his 30-year career, said he made a big mistake selling NVIDIA too early after initially thinking he was going to hold it for years. Druckenmiller spoke this week to Bloomberg's Sonali Basak. I've made so many mistakes in my investment career one of them was I sold all my NVIDIA, probably somewhere between $800 and $950. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang says his day is a success before he even starts work. He explains why he's never too busy for interruptions Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA starts his day inspiringly. While many leaders are overwhelmed by endless to-do lists, Huang ensures his priorities are in check before his workday begins. I begin each morning by doing my highest priority work first Huang says. NVIDIA is cheap. Actually, you, a rube, might think that NVIDIA is a big fat bubble, given that it's worth almost as much as the entire UK stock market, trades at over 40 times next year's forecasted earnings, and even has its own earnings parties, Spivy Support Act, and a monstrous options ecosystem. Intel, AMD, NVIDIA CEOs on the new x86 partnership making sure that x86 remains x86, we support the x86. The x86 is very important to us. We support it for PCS, workstations, data centers. NVIDIA is set to dominate another big tech earnings season. We're rolling into what is expected to be another wild tech earnings season, and you can bet AI is going to be front and center. And if there's one company that everyone is watching, it's NVIDIA NVDA. Shares of the chip giant are up more than 16% in the last month, and the stock is currently on pace to unseat Apple as the largest publicly traded company by market capitalization. NVIDIA hits record high as chip stocks rally on TSMC's rosy AI-powered Outlook shares of NVIDIA NVDA.O. Opens new tab hit a record high amid a rally in US. Chip stocks on Thursday after industry bellwether TSMC's strong sales forecast boosted investor optimism about demand for processors used to power artificial intelligence applications. NVIDIA facing a generational opportunity, stock has nearly 40% upside left both analysts said their bullish stance on the stock has been bolstered by several recent industry developments, TSMC's recent blowout report, AMD's A event, and strong Blackwell demand, among others as well as the company's robust competitive positioning. Moreover, they highlight NVIDIA's underestimated enterprise partnerships with major firms like Accenture Service Now and Oracle, as well as its software offerings. NVIDIA hits record high as chip stocks rally on TSMC's rosy AI-powered Outlook shares of NVIDIA hit a record high amid a rally in US. Chip stocks on Thursday after industry bellwether TSMC's strong sales forecast boosted investor optimism about demand for processors used to power artificial intelligence applications. U.S. listed TSMC shares rose more than 11%, lifting the company's market capitalization above $1 trillion. NVIDIA AI Summit India to witness mega event as Mukesh Ambani. NVIDIA AI Summit India is going to witness a mega event on October 24th at 10 a.m. East when NVIDIA Chief Jensen Huang will engage in a fireside chat with Mukesh Ambani, the Chairman and Managing Director of Reliance Industries. NVIDIA just dropped a new AI model that crushes OpenAI's GPT-4 no big launch. Just big results, NVIDIA quietly unveiled a new artificial intelligence model on Tuesday that outperforms offerings from industry leaders OpenAI and Anthropic. NVIDIA stock nears a new record as AI demand drives a big TSMC earnings beat the chipmaker's stock was up around 2.8% during midday trading on Thursday at about $139.51 per share. Earlier in the day, the stock briefly climbed over 3% to set a new intraday record of $140.89 per share, according to CNBC. The stock's last record intraday high was on June 20th, when it reached $140.76 per share. The Taiwanese chipmaker reported revenue of NT759.69 billion dollars, or $23.5 billion, for the quarter ended September 30th. Meet the unstoppable growth stock that could join Apple. NVIDIA and Microsoft in the $3 trillion club by 2028. Heading up the list are some of the world's most familiar technology names. 
Apple tops the charts at $3.5 trillion as of this writing. Nvidia and Microsoft are trailing close behind, with market caps of $3.2 trillion and $3.1 trillion, respectively. Lisa Su just delivered incredible news for advanced micro devices stock investors developing artificial intelligence AI software wouldn't be possible without data centers and the powerful graphics processing chips GPUs inside them. For the past 18 months, Nvidia has dominated the GPU industry with a staggering market share of up to 98%. Billionaire investor Stanley Druckenmiller says he regrets selling his entire Nvidia stake and is looking to buy again months after Stanley Druckenmiller offloaded his entire Nvidia stake the billionaire investor says he regrets the decision. I've made so many mistakes in my investment career. One of them was I sold all my Nvidia, he told Bloomberg TV on Wednesday. What's going on with Nvidia stock and the booming AI market? Nvidia continues to grow as it surpassed the $3 trillion mark on June 18, 2024, before dipping just below $3 trillion at the end of August 2024. Nvidia is now the second largest listed US company based on market capitalization value behind Apple. In the middle of 2023, Nvidia passed the $1 trillion mark. Nvidia price levels to watch as stock retreats from record a decisive breakdown below this level would confirm a bull trap, which could trigger a move down to the $115 level. Where the stock may encounter buying interest near the triangle's lower trend line and multiple minor peaks and troughs stretching back to late May. Further selling could see the shares revisit major support around $97, a location on the chart currently just below the upward sloping 200-day moving average mark. Could Nvidia stock hit $150 before 2024 is over? Nvidia NVDA 0.78% is having quite the run in 2024. It entered the year trading for roughly a split adjusted $50, but has rocketed all the way up to around $130. Where will Nvidia stock be in one year semiconductor giant Nvidia's NVD, a 0.78% stock has recorded eye-popping gains of nearly 528% in the past three years and nearly 167% in 2024. It is no secret that the company's absolute dominance in the rapidly growing artificial intelligence AI market has been the key driving force behind this growth. However, Nvidia's glory days are far from over. Down 5%. What's happening with Nvidia stock? Nvidia stock fell by close to 4.5% on Tuesday. Peer AMD stock also saw a sharp decline, falling by about 5%. The sell-off follows an earnings report by chip manufacturing equipment supplier ASML, which indicated weaker-than-expected sales guidance for 2025, raising concerns among investors about global chip demand. NVIDIA notches record high, looks to unseat Apple as world's most valuable company NVIDIA shares continued their upward trajectory, fueled by an abundance of good news for the AI chipmaker. Wall Street analysts last week reiterated their buy ratings on NVIDIA shares. Is the NVIDIA stock sell-off done? NVIDIA NVDA shares have retreated from its record high. The sell-off was triggered by the surprise route in chip player ASML ASML ASML, which shocked investors this week by offering a weak outlook. NVIDIA stock rise may boost its value past Apple to $3.90 trillion NVIDIA could soon pass Apple as the world's most valuable company while NVIDIA, which grew 122% in the second quarter, has been the leading economic beneficiary of demand for generative AI since 2023. Apple, whose top line increased 4.9% in Q2, still scrambles for AI relevance.